unfortunately, Prince had a little more testosterone. Prince go, Prince go, bro. Well, I Jackson. could just see Michael Jackson just Michael like Jackson. putting him in like a Camaro. He 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 he. I get it. Say my name. I imagine Prince rolling him up like a cross face and then trying to play him like a bass. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Hey, dash though, I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen, and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think, and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we hear on trash talk. Hey. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another episode of the Trash Talkers Podcast. We made it. We made it. Yeah, we did. How you feeling, broski? Oh, great, great. Another week, another week. And football season is I full was waiting on you to bring up football. Absolutely. It's that time of year. Yes. Can I bring mm-hmm. up MMA for a, a second? Uh, uh, one second, yes. Okay, one second. MMA. All right. All right. Sounds I can't good. <laughs> That's it. Sounds like a hell of a time. Oh, man. If y'all knew Alexa Grasso and Valentina Shevchenko, go watch the fight. Hey, excuse me, guys. I had the hiccups. I just ate something spicy. Excuse me. <laughs> but, no. We have an interesting topic today. Yeah. But but before we get into that interesting topic, it's yeah. all here at the Trash Talkers, we read the top three comments of last podcast. Absolutely right? we do. One hundred percent. And guys, also later in the episode, we also uh read uh, your birthdays out. Uh we, we see with that plenty that we haven't gotten to excuse me, that we haven't gotten to. Kim uh Zwolanski, we see yours, we see uh many that we haven't got to God, excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. It's a good radio. Yeah. Y'all, forgive me. But we have, um, we see you and we're going to get to them. But hold on. I'm going to try to. Hold on. Okay. All right. I'll, t- I'll try to talk in between them. All right. So, no, let's read the top three comments from the last podcast. But, guys, leave your birthdays down in the comment section if you want to see what happened on your birthday on what the Florida. Not mm-hmm. what the. But what the what the florida yeah all right so uh number three most liked comment from last podcast by the way this comes from how we handle me- mean and hateful comments mm-hmm. so the number um three most li- liked comment comes from <laughs> this is horrible okay we're good <laughs> god dang i thought it wasn't gonna come in and it came all right uh it comes from Raving, ravishing Rob. That's a wrestling nigga. Ravishing Rob. That's a wrestling nigga. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Shout That's out Rude's brother. <laughs> yes. Shout out Ravishing Rob. He says, I've been going through a lot of I've been going through a tough time. Okay. I've been going through a tough time as of late. Listening to you two guys is like hanging out with some friends. Yeah, appreciate awesome. the content. Yeah, we appreciate you, Rob. One hundred percent. Thank you, Rob. Uh Ravishing Rob greatly appreciate it the number two most liked comment comes from um odie oops 4171 shout out to you odie oops 4171 um odie oops 4171 says hey guys love your reactions and podcasts um as leave me alone bro come on I, we got work to do here uh, we work it all right so eddie oop or odie oops <laughs> We need to start back over. Okay. All right. What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're back in, <laughs> in this thing. All right. Odie Oop says, hey, guys, love your reactions to podcasts. As they say, quote, unquote, haters gonna hate. I can't understand why so many people need to be nasty and rude these days. My yeah. thought is if you don't like a channel, move along and find something else. <laughs> There are thousands others out there. Stop being nasty to others. Keep doing what you keep doing. And actually, Smokey here re- replied to that, and he said, "Yeah, it's hard to understand why people will spend so much time on something they claim to not like." Thank you so so much, my friend. Shout out mm-hmm. Odie Oops. And Absolutely, one hundred percent. And the number one most liked comment from that podcast is from Bear or Bar Seven Nine Zero says, "I refuse." To believe anyone could find a mean, anyone could find a mean thing to say eat to say to either one of you. In my opinion, you both are super duper. <laughs> yeah, thank I'm you. sorry for the hiccups. <laughs> Listen, I apologize, Shark Talkers, but we have to 
to continue. It, they'll they'll go away eventually. But yeah, shout out to all those great trash talkers. Absolutely. Out there. Now, smoke dog. Yeah. We have spoken about this in numerous of reactions. Yes, yes, we have. We have spoken about this personally. Yeah. Let's talk about the feud. <laughs> yes. And I know you like this. You oh, like yeah. You like beef. Yeah. Let's talk about the feud of Michael Jackson and Pr- Prince. I was looking through my DVDs the other day, and I still have the copies of Beef. Remember Beef 1, The hip-hop? Two? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it was QD3 that put them out. Mm-hmm. Quincy Jones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Charlie Murphy did one. I think he, he did, did Beef one? 3, actually. Really? Yeah. That was that was the one with uh, T.I. and Lil Flip. Huh. But today, we're talking about Prince and Michael Jackson. Yeah. The one they did not cover yes. on that. <laughs> l- l- let's, let's talk about this for a second. So now, okay. If I have to be honest, mm-hmm. why do people even put them why is there a beef in the first place because they're two when you have the king of pop Mm -hmm. he's a pop artist michael jackson Mm -hmm. prince wasn't pop no he he got thrown into that category yes prince was not just a straight pop star like michael jackson the the, i think the beef kind of came out of them being coexisting at the same time these two gigantic personalities in the industry just coexisting at the same time and putting out albums around the same time as each other so they're battling back and forth on the pop charts also yes prince was not technically a pop star you never saw michael jackson go out there and crank out these rock ballads and things like that you know prince could do all of that but for some reason the mainstream gravitated toward michael jackson just a little bit more and Prince seemed to have a problem with that in the long run. Why do you think that is, though? Well, uh, it's ego. I mean, you, the, both of these guys were told how great they were from the, the moment they started making music, you know, playing instruments for, for Prince, because he was a virtuoso. He was one of the best of all time. Right. But for some reason, when it comes to Grammys, he's over there like, I just put out one of the greatest albums of all time. Right. Michael Jackson standing up there with five Grammys. Well, let me ask you this. Let's say you're at the height. You're 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 a producer, or, mm-hmm. or you're an artist that are put that's putting out music when at their height, right? Mm-hmm. You have to pick one to collaborate with. Who are you picking? At the height. Well, well let's say mid to early eighties. Well, I mean, the, the artistry in you wants you to say Prince, Prince of right? course. But Prince see, might be a little harder to work with, though. I'm okay with because look, here's what I'm thing. saying. How easy is it going to be to get him to agree to it in the first place? Uh, listen, if I could, like you said, he might be a little harder to work with, right? Yeah. I'm okay if you're harder to work with because in my eyes, I see that you're serious about what the what's yeah. going on. Yeah. If Michael's like, oh, sure, I don't care. You're just some random dude that's coming up. Sure, let's make some songs. I'm Michael Jackson. I'll put you on this big platform. Yeah. Prince took it more like, Look, I really do this. Mm-hmm. I really do this. Yeah. So I don't know, man. And and not only that, I, I I one thing I cannot understand. I don't understand the comparison. Like Prince and Michael Jackson are two different genres. Mm-hmm. And have you ever seen Michael Jackson play the piano? No. Nah. How about the guitar? No. Nah. Bass? No. Nah. Drum? His brothers did, of course. His no, we're talking Michael. That. Michael himself? No, I don't recall. I mean, maybe he could. But I never saw it. According to legend, Prince floats on a cloud and can play <laughs> 76 instruments. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. If, I wouldn't doubt that at all. Well, that's what I'm saying. Because he was, like I said, he was a virtuoso. He could play anything he touched. And I don't know that Michael Jackson was envious of that. It's, it's hard to see the envy. I know there was some animosity there, of course. And I don't know if Prince basically kind of amped it all up from the beginning mm. but uh i don't know i think michael started it did he like rem- think of remember i know they they had tension from the very beginning from their first albums both coming out in 78 uh, there was tension there they're both battling on the charts you know but it may have been like a professional animosity at first like yes i, I see i'm kind of jealous of this guy doing what i'm doing and Almost as famous as I am, Wait, but what, what do you what do you mean when you say doing what I'm doing? 
uh, having hit records. One but right after the other. What about Rick James? Hit yeah. after hit. Why? Why? Why isn't there Prince versus Rick James? What about I, I think James? the media probably played it up a lot. Thank you. Yeah. I, you want me to tell you what I think it is? is two androgynous, mm-hmm. light, lighter skin men. Yeah, and you would say sex symbols. Sex symbols. Yeah. It's like, oh, these guys are so much alike. Yes, he's in this genre. He's in this genre, but they're so much alike. But I mm-hmm. feel like you're right. The media probably said, hey, yes. Yes, because there, the media... there, can only, there can only be one. <laughs> exactly, and that's it. It's like the Highlander. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the media played it up like, oh, these guys got a beef. Look at them. Look at them fighting with each other, you know? Which sells. Yeah, I, I guess it came to a... What kicked it all off the, the seriousness of the beef? Because they might have had a little uh, professional attention amongst each other. But what kicked it all off was the performance with James Brown. They right. were both happened to be at James Brown's show... And he saw, James Brown saw Michael Jackson sitting in the audience, and he's like, get on up here, do get something. Get on up here. <laughs> yeah, get on up. <laughs> yeah. And just do something, because you're Michael Jackson. You're number one on the charts. And Michael Jackson was a big fan of James Brown. Exactly. Yeah, they both were. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they were both into big funk and soul and, you know. So Michael Jackson comes up, and he belts out a couple lines, you know, and it's all wonderful. And James Brown is like, yes, you know, we put on the best show ever. And Michael Jackson, how do you say it? we put on the best show ever. Yeah. <laughs> so he was scat. He was the original scatter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get on. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. So Michael Jackson whispers in his ear after he's finished his performing, you know, his little bit of what he did there. He's like, Prince is out there. Get him up here. And here's where the controversy starts. Because some people say that Michael Jackson might have done that because it was almost like, I just showed out to the world and tried to follow that. Like, you think, you think you're doing big things? Get up here and try to follow that. So uh, James Brown's like, I was told that Prince is in the audience. Come on up here, Prince. Prince comes up. And he's like, all right, I'm going to follow that. I'm going to show you something, bro. Grabs a guitar. The guitar is malfunctioning. Oh, wow. So he's not able to play the guitar. Because that's probably what he probably wanted to upstage him, right? Okay. He's like, you don't, you can't play the guitar. Watch this. I'm going to, you know, just, just strum it Wait, out who, for who, you. Wait, you talking about James Brown saying watch this? Or are you talking no, about- no, Prince. Because Michael Jackson does it first, right? But Michael Jackson isn't playing the guitar. No, not at all. All right, so Prince, Prince comes, comes up. up. And he's probably thinking... I can play the guitar. Watch this. But he you know? grabs a malfunctioning guitar. Yes. Okay, and then what happens? It goes bad from that. So he gets rid of the guitar, and he's, you know, doing his little dance because Michael Jackson's a dancer. There's no doubt about that. So he's like, you know, I'll show out a little bit with defeat then. So he goes over to the edge of the stage, starts swinging around this lamp post that was a prop on stage, oh. and the damn thing falls over into the crowd, and he's really embarrassed at that point because... You know, when you, whenever you get on stage, you want everything to go perfectly. There's a bit of ego involved. You're like, I have to show up. This is my reputation. Right. This is what I do. I'm an artist. I'm an entertainer. Right. I have to show out, and I want it to be perfect. Every artist goes through that. But when something goes wrong, it's this feeling of embarrassment also, disappointment that builds up. And he starts thinking that maybe... Michael Maybe Jackson it set was him up. Rigged. Yes. What do you it, it, in your heart of hearts? You think Jack Michael Jackson set him up? I no. Know. Well, here's what I think happened. I think Michael Jackson said, "I'm going to get up on this stage and I'm going to do my best and wow everybody with my moves and my singing." And he did that. And he's like, "Okay, let's see if Prince can do that since he's the big bad dude that's right on my heels." Yeah. That... Get him up here, and then he, you know, my uh, Prince coming up. You know, watch the pronouns. Uh, Prince comes up and thinks like, wait what <laughs> Why, what do you mean because if you say he you know he too many times people are like well who are you talking about now okay go ahead so prince comes up and maybe he's thinking this was all set up they gave me a malfunctioning car guitar so i can look bad yeah but the on the a, a contrarian could say well michael jackson didn't know he was going to get called exactly. up until yeah. james brown said hey we yeah. heard we got michael jackson yeah so but continue and, and james brown didn't even know that prince was there exactly. until michael jackson told him so you know and prince is not just going to sit back and be like oh they're calling me up to stage I'm like nah go ahead go ahead but he probably should have at that point to tell yeah. you the truth because it was an embarrassment for him to for the entire performance that he wanted to give right there on the spot to go so wrong. So after that, 
it became more of a legitimate beef. I'm not gonna lie, Prince was kind of salty there. Yeah, he he he, he could have been absolutely. If if it, if I he was, he could have laughed and played it off. What'd you say? He could have laughed. And right. Well, it no. Off. If I was Prince and you were Michael Jackson at the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, Hollywood. The, the name. The reason I got the name Hollywood kind of synonymous. It, it comes from um, somewhere with Michael Jackson. I'll tell that story another day. Mm-hmm. But no, if I was Prince, I'd be like, look, bro. After the show, I'd come up to James Brown. Like, look, did y'all plan this? Did yeah. y'all? I, I, that's. I would. Yeah, I, I would exactly. face it. And then that might have actually happened. To tell you the truth, and we may not know because. Um, so Prince was so. Tore up about this. That I have heard that story goes that he tried to run over Michael Jackson backstage. What do you mean run over? I don't know. That's just how I heard the story that he tries to run over. This fool got on on his Lexus and said, "I'm finna, (laughs) bro. He's gonna moonwalk the hell out of your neck." I doubt. I doubt Prince in his head was thinking, "I'm gonna kill Michael Jackson." Nah, (laughs) nah. But he was probably thinking, you know, I'm in my car or whatever. You know, I doubt he was on the motorcycle. But you always think the think of prince riding that purple motorcycle right (laughs) but you know he probably got in his car and he's like all right i'm just gonna peel out of here and if it scares the hell out of him then so be it but why i I, you know what i i'm gonna 100 percent agree with you Mm -hmm. when you say it's a lot the media might have a lot to do with it because the the remember the in uh hip-hop the east west beef you know the tupac versus biggie yeah a lot of that was driven by the media oh absolutely same thing and when egos get involved they're like okay those people are thinking about this i'm really mad about it now because everybody thinks a certain way of me now i need to defend defend myself myself. in a way exactly 100 percent. and i would not be surprised if prince and michael jackson felt the same way but now let's let's look at this from a different timeline Mm -hmm. let's say prince prince said you know what let's say that the james brown thing never happened Mm -hmm. and prince is like man I'm, i'm on the top of this chart Michael Jackson's on the p- top of this chart. Imagine if they made music together. Well, that was in the plans. So they were going to squash the beef at one point in time, right? You know, they, they put out... Prince puts out uh, Purple Rain. Uh, which one of the that's greatest finally, albums ever. That's finally his version of, of Thriller. Thriller. You know, yeah. just the biggest album that he's ever put out. And, you know, he's winning the Grammys now. So... Michael Jackson is like, okay, so we could squash the beef, right? We can finally go ahead and do this song that the media media has been wanting us to do. Squash the beef, right? Yeah, let's squash the beef. Let's do this song. So he makes bad, which is almost sounds like a diss track. Not not necessarily a diss track, but Michael Jackson being the effeminate guy, he's like, I'm gonna make this tough gangster sounding song. Yeah, but Prince wasn't the the most gangster dude ever either. I mean, he went out out there with his butt cheeks on. He did. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, you gave him a microphone, he's gonna give you a lollipop. Yeah, exactly. Well, that that's the way some people put it too. Is Michael Jackson was the love, whereas Prince was the sex. Mm. You know, so they were kind of polar opposites there also. And Michael Jackson wasn't all about sex sales, you know, and all this, whereas Prince is making songs like Lil Nicky. Look, all right, continue on with the I'm Bad thing. What, what so so <laughs> Michael Jackson lays down the song I'm Bad, right? Mm-hmm. Or I don't know if he had already laid it down or they just had it written. Like, this is the copy of the song, and he sends it over to Prince, and they're like, this oh, is your Oh, he wanted verse. Prince on it? Yes, yes. So Th- this wait, is your verse. is that fact? Yeah, I mean... Allegedly, I, I can't say completely, but that's how the story goes in media. Okay, well, media. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> but uh, so he sends the the lyrics over and like, this is your verse. This is what you're gonna sing. The line he had a problem with is, "Yo, butt is mine." Oh lord, <laughs> lord, <laughs> no! Is like, I am not getting on a song with you and singing, "Yo, your butt, butt is, is mine. mine." And think about it, Prince just came out with what kind of jeans? <laughs> the, the chaps, the, yeah, the the houses, chaps with yeah. no with your butt out. <laughs> your butt is mine. Yeah. So he kind of felt like that's another shot at him, right? Yeah. Prince might have been a little sensitive. Maybe. Yeah. Prince might have been so. a little sensitive. Yeah. Like if me if if me and you at, were if I knew you as Smoke Dog, you yeah. knew me as Hollywood. You know yeah. what I'm talking about? And we still the best of the best. And I venture off. You know, let, let's say when the trash talker, when, when rappers react and the trash talkers YouTube channel blows off. Let's say I go a different direction. I get signed by this people. Mm-hmm. You go a different direction. You get signed by this people. And you're like, man, I miss my dog Hollywood, man. Yeah. I, I, we need to make a song. And you be like, hey, look, Hollywood. We call, I, I'm in I'm in Switzerland. You're in New Zealand. You're like, mm-hmm. hey, bro, man, let's get back and just make one song real quick. You yeah. know. And 
and then you're like, all right, all right. I'm, I'm like, all right, cool. Send me the song over. And the first song you, you send over, and the first line in it is, I hate the number six. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's kind of what it was like, right? <laughs> I'm going to be like, okay, you know what so, I'm going to so say? Friendly. I hate I hate the smell of smoke. <laughs> but me and you aren't sensitive like that. We're yeah, gonna, we're, we're going to play it off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But – they weren't seeing it that way. You know, this is where the egos come into play. So Prince is like, okay, you already bailed out on We Are the World. We Are the World. You know, and that, Prince was sometimes a little too cool for school. Like, yeah. you know, he's like, I, I'm not going to do this cheesy bubblegum stuff. You know, like, I'm not going to say your butt is mine. So, <laughs> so Michael Jackson starts thinking, okay, he just hates me. He just hates me. That's it. And he's in the, you know, uh, on different sources talking about he's rude to me. He's been rude to my whole family. He's just been a mean, awful person in every interaction I've ever had with right, him. Right, right, right. And uh, the guy tried to run over me. The guy refuses to do a song with me. No matter what it is, apparently, he just refuses to do the song. Yeah, but at the same time, listen, first of all, rest in peace to two legendary oh, artists. I mean, we, Prince is one of my favorite artists of all time. Michael yeah. Jackson is one of the greatest of all time absolutely so first we, we need to put respect on their name mm-hmm. but at the same time it's like i gotta keep it real i said it earlier but prince might have been a little sensitive bro yeah what dude I... just hold on think about that michael jackson was less sensitive <laughs> than, than prince, prince. <laughs> yeah think about yeah, that yeah, yeah. wow <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard to believe two guys who are on top of the Bro, world. I, I'm telling you, the media media portrayed Michael Jackson in a way that he really wasn't. They like a lot of people think, oh, there's no when when he was with Lisa Marie, mm-hmm. they're like, there's no way he actually had physical sex with her. Mm-hmm. I'm per- bro. Michael was a dog, dog. From the stories you hear from the people, I know you're gonna disagree with me, here, <laughs> but the stories Not of from people, the stories that these exes though but but from ahead. but like the people that like his limo drivers and and chris tucker chris we're, we'll get to the base of my base base yeah, of my face yeah, we'll exactly. get there but chris tucker he's like and he like even people thought he was so feminine and you know like oh there's no he way he actually had physical intercourse with lisa Marie to have blanket and mm-hmm. what was the other trousers or something like that <laughs> trousers i don't remember what the it the was other like two a, were an, named, an uh, oracle of clothing or something yeah, I blanket was the big one though the, yeah. the media what's blanket over? doing the, man i hope you're striving bro if your name <laughs> blanket is <laughs> actually you probably winning these days yeah i wouldn't doubt it but no probably I, making music of his own these days yo but what is mine? Let me stop. <laughs> All right, but no. But what I'm saying is, is okay. From what I have seen from the videos and the videos that I have watched, the people that were around Michael Jackson, his security guards, his limo drivers, his uh, body uh, bodybuilders, his bodyguards, his um, um, like his friends that he would bring around, like they said, Michael was actually you know pulling women. Well, he dude. could, yeah. But he, could he, get anyone it, he wanted. He, he called them men, women. Fish. Who, it doesn't matter. There, there, there was a, and y'all can Google this. There, y'all can YouTube this. Uh, there's a video where. Uh, Michael Jackson referred to his fans that he would like to hang out with as fish. He's like, oh, look at all Mm -hmm. the fish, which is weird. Why not just say, hey, look at the pretty ladies. But he's a quirky guy, so he's going to have his own terms for things, yeah. You think Prince said fish? No, no. Prince, like, hey, what's up? Prince, like I said, Prince, <laughs> Prince was, was a real. Prince was too cool for school. <laughs> he wasn't going to be doing anything that could be considered cheesy or bubble gum or anything like that. But anyway... So it just keeps building, you know. Michael Jackson's taking shots at Prince in the media. Prince is firing back in his own cool, like you know, his own way of doing it, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it comes to Michael Jackson hanging out with Will I Am, yeah, and Chris Tucker. Will I Am is from <laughs> yeah. the Black Eyed Peas, but uh, Chris Tucker and um, uh, Michael Jackson were very good friends mm-hmm. because you know if yeah. you watch Friday, he was doing. Oh, yeah. If you he watch, did the move. Yeah, yeah, he he was a big Michael Jackson fan, and mm-hmm. Michael Jackson was like, "Hey man, come to come to Neverland, hang out yeah. with me." And there's a story I know you're gonna get to it, but I just gotta say it before you do. Okay, Chris, why is he <laughs> playing the bass in my face? <laughs> yeah, and that's it. So Will I Am and Chris Tucker, like Michael Prince is in town tonight. We really want to see this show. You got to come with us. It'll be your chance to finally squash the beef and just let the media know that you guys are cool. There's no reason to just keep carrying on this 20-year feud that you guys got going on. 
So they go to the show. They're sitting in their own special little section, of course, because Michael Jackson is a megastar. You can't just throw him out on the floor. So they, they would be mobbed if that was the case. But yeah, dude, there was a faint section. <laughs> exactly. Literally, there was a faint section. For, if you... Yeah, you faint it when Michael Jackson. They would pick you up, push you back to the crowd, and there'd be a whole bunch of people just <laughs> just out, just done, <laughs> sleep. But yeah, so so they're in their special section. You know, the friends of Michael are all hanging out there, and uh, Prince notices them there, and he decides that I'm gonna go give them a special show. I'm gonna give them a special little portion of the show for the famous people, right? So. Michael's sitting there, he's trying to enjoy the show. Prince walks right up to him while he's playing the bass, props his foot up on the chair right beside him, and just doom, 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 right in his, just thrusting it. It's right face. in Michael Jackson. I mean, this is Michael Jackson. He's just right in his face. And Michael's like, oh, see, the story comes from the next day at breakfast, too. Like, he doesn't say much about it at the time, but the next morning, he's like, talking to Will I Am, Chris. Why, why you think Prince laid a bass in my face like that? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And of course, Chris and we're like, I'm like, maybe he still got a problem. With maybe. You. I mean, <laughs> Chris, why'd he play the bass in my face? <laughs> so, needless to say, nothing physical ever happened outside of Prince trying to run over Michael Jackson. If that happened, allegedly. Yeah, yeah exactly. But they, they both passed away. Uh, probably never officially squashing the beef Which with each sucks, other. Which sucks, dude. Which sucks. Because imagine Thriller era Jackson. Mm -hmm. Imagine Purple Rain Prince. Yeah. Cool. And Prince had a hand on everything mm -hmm. from in the late 70s to the mid to the early oh, 90s. Yeah. He had a hand on everything and it was all... Which makes you wonder why... Michael didn't say, let's let Prince write the damn track. But that's, that's where I think Prince was like, man, F that. Yeah, because he probably wanted to write it. He probably wait, wait, Michael. You think Michael wanted? No, him? Prince probably. I don't even know that Michael wrote. No, songs. I think my, mm, Michael was very talented. Oh, extremely. Damn, I don't, man. Oh, I don't know that. That yeah, that's probably a, if if you're doing a collab with Prince, you probably just send him the music and say, come up with your best work, and we will Listen, make the greatest song I am of all not time. comparing myself to Prince at all, but I have to say something real quick. <laughs> when, when I am producing, when I am engineering, and I'm recording an artist, just follow me. I promise you, just follow me. And you probably hate me for this sometimes, like when we <laughs> record. I'm like, bro, just, just, just do it, do well, it. Like every this. artist has their own vision for how they want it to go. I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You, you, you bring the ink. Mm -hmm. I'll bring the canvas and I'll paint it on there. And and I feel like Prince might have been like that. He might have been one of those those artists where yeah. he's like, no, it has to be like this, like this. This is going to sound like this. That's how I work. You know who another uh, artist that works like that? Who? Dr. Dre. Oh, yeah. Snoop Dogg says he hated working with Dr. Dre <laughs> yeah. because he was like, no, 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 no. Say it like this. Yeah. Say it like that. And yeah. I, I – But sometimes you got to give them the respect you're because right. they right. produced – the millions and millions and millions of copies but at, sold at, records. At the same time, like imagine you take 1995, Dr. Dre, right? Mm -hmm. uh, sipping on gin and juice, made made that, you know, or sipping on uh, uh, two in the morning and my mama ain't home, you know. Yeah. He produced these legendary NWA songs, you know what I'm talking yeah. about? So now you got Snoop Dogg. Now take, take 1995, Dr. Dre, mm -hmm. and take 2020. One or no, two, 2019 Young Thug mm -hmm. and put him with 2000 or two, uh, 1995 Dre. Dre's gonna be like, bro, this is garbage, <laughs> yeah. But it, it shows the evolution sometimes. Yes, the person who sold the 30, the 40, 50 million copies, yes, you're amazing at it, but sometimes you gotta you gotta let your ego down, yeah. like, all right, let you it gotta, down, yeah. just show me give and take. You gotta get some give yeah. and take in there, and I. It's two gigantic egos, two of the biggest artists who ever lived. I need to hear Young Thug on, on Gin and Juice now. <laughs> I need to hear Young Thug on Gin There Gina probably Juice. is a free I, I need somewhere. to hear that. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. But, yeah, when you got those two egos, like, a lot of times it's just not going to work out. A lot of times you're like, I got these two favorite artists that I just love. Right. Why have they never made a song together? Sometimes it's ego, ego. is the reason they've never made a song together. Ego. I would say ego's probably got the majority of them out mm -hmm. to do with it. Now, what? What was you about to say? Uh, who won the beef? No, no, no. Here's the question. <laughs> yeah. 
Michael Jackson, mm-hmm. black belt, third degree black belt in jiu-jitsu. <laughs> hypothetically, okay? <laughs> That's definitely hypothetical. All right, all right, Michael Jackson, third degree, same build, same shape, yeah. same everything, same. <laughs> he does got the body of, like, Hoist Gracie. Uh, hoist or had. <laughs> but, yeah, but, okay, same Michael Jackson, same he-he, <laughs> plastic surgery, all that, third degree Brazilian black, uh, Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, right? Yeah. Okay, Prince, at the height in the 80s, you know, saying, bop, uh, three time Muay Thai champion. Mm. Who wins? So we Who have wins a in kickboxer a kickboxer f- versus a, a, ju- a, gra- a jiu jitsu? You know what? Screw the kickboxers. Just Who wins in a fight, first and foremost? Yeah, who wins in a fight? Uh, Unfortunately, Prince had a little more testosterone. Prince go, Prince go, bro. <laughs> what, I could just see Michael Jackson just Michael like Jackson. putting him in like a, a Camaro. He <laughs> 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 <I> get it. <laughs> see my name. <laughs> I imagine Prince rolling him up like a cross face and then trying to play him like a face. <laughs> 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 yeah, dude. <laughs> and, all right. Ultimately, just yeah. who wins? Who would win in a fight? Oh, Prince. Yeah. Yeah. Prince. Like I said, Prince had a little more testosterone than Michael Jackson. And that, that came out in the music. I mean, I think Michael Jackson had the, the, the height over Prince. Prince was a little bit shorter. Man, than I, but now if we were to say, okay, Prince has is a three-time Muay Thai kickboxing champion <laughs> versus, uh, uh, I was about to say Hamza Shemaev, versus uh, Michael Jackson, who's a third degree black belt <laughs> obviously michael's gonna win yeah. that fight obviously yeah. and as long as he can get him down if yeah. you get him to the ground yeah, he doesn't the take a, uh, a knockout blow or something yeah of course yeah i could man i want to see him put him in a kimura lock <laughs> i told you I, I, I told you <laughs> come on come on prince come on do so come on come on that'd be great dude heck yeah man <laughs> Yeah, trash talkers. Let us know in a in a in a in a real world if there was a fight. It's like Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris just meeting. <laughs> oh no, hallway. that's not no Chuck. <laughs> listen, uh, Chuck Norris is the undefeated. Chuck Chuck yeah, Norris, the baddest man to ever live. Apparently, Chuck <laughs> Norris is the type of guy that moves out of his parents' house at eighteen and at, and tells his dad, "You're the man of the house now." <laughs> exactly. That's Chuck Norris. Dang it. Yeah. Absolutely. But no, trash talkers. Y'all let us know who do you think would win in a real fight, and let us know what y'all. It, it, give us some history. <laughs> down in the comment section on Michael Jackson. Who do you prefer? Do you like yeah. Michael more? Do you like Prince more? Mm-hmm. You know, who was more influential? Who did you listen to more? Who did your parents listen to more? Who yeah. do you think? And what also, what do you think would have, cons- uh, would have, what would have, have become if they did work together? I'd yeah. be curious. And that. would it have been the greatest song of all time? Because I'm sure that's what they would have envisioned. If we ever work it out, we can make the greatest song of all time, God. right? But a lot of times when you get egos together, that song does not come out it doesn't, perfectly. It doesn't. And the reason that is is because you think you're better than me, mm-hmm. and I think I'm better than you. Yep, yep. In hip-hop, that works sometimes because oh, two artists yeah. are trying to, to battle back and forth with yes. their verses. You know? But you, see, they could have... Look at Busta Rhymes and Eminem. You know? it, they could have done that, dude. It's like, you know what? I, I, yes, you're good. And yes, you're good, man. Mm-hmm. If they put their differences aside, dude, imagine if yeah. they, they imagine if they were in the day and age of like they don't, they're not in the studio recording. They have to email songs back <laughs> each other. They would. That's so Michael sends his doing, verse right? first. Yeah. Michael sends his verse, and he's like, "All right, cool." And then Prince writes a better verse than Michael. Then he sends <laughs> it back, and then Michael sends it back, and his yeah. verse better. That. That song's never gonna exist because they're just gonna keep trying <laughs> exactly. to go back and forth. With each other. It's just twenty years, like copy yeah. number four hundred and seventy-two thousand. Like, All right, what, what's wrong with it now? No, <laughs> well he said duh, but it should have said then. <laughs> and I got this. Let me do this. No, nah, man, this was a good topic. Yeah, man, absolutely. For real. For, All right, let's uh, let's do some WTF smoke. You ready well, let's for this do one? It. All right, guys, again, leave your birthdays down in the comments. We do see previous ones that we're going to get to, so stick around. Thank y'all for hanging out with us on the Trash Talker mm-hmm. podcast. But, okay, the first one, let's go with, hold on, where did I see it? There's one that I really wanted to bring up. Uh, let's see here. I'll read your comment as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, as soon as I, okay, uh, shout out to Sarah Williams, uh, dash Kurto 6750. Um Real quick, just to shout out her comments. Uh, Sarah Williams said, Love this whole thing. First podcast with y'all. Watched with my husband. He lived in Florida for 13 to 14 years. Mm. And due to his stories, plus me being with Smokey, being a true crime nerd. (laughs) That's definitely Smokey. (laughs) The WTF, what the Florida, cracked us both up. Laughing my 
a LMAO. I'd appreciate our dates being considered. So, mm-hmm. her husband, <laughs> seven thirty one, which is July thirty first. July thirty first. Yeah. Shout out, shout out, Tony. He's a Leo, by the way. All shout right. out, Leo. Tony. You're ready to hear what happened on your birthday in Florida? What the Florida for Tony? All right. The first one that pops up is oh, this oh one's God. Different. Whenever he says that, I'm already well. It, it actually took me to a weird site, so I'm gonna have to go with the second one okay, that pops let's up. Go with the second one. All right. Florida man used Kick messaging app to chat with undercover Almar Al. Mar- Al- Album moral detective. I heard about this. Yeah, so with a 14-year-old girl. I heard Ashley. about this. Mm. Look, just to read a quick synonymous on this, this comes from synopsis. a... Yeah. a synopsis. What did I say? Synonymous. Synonymous. <laughs> synopsis. A Florida man who used to, who's used the instant messaging application, Kick, to chat with an undercover Albert Marl County detective he thought was a 14-year-old girl. Uh, pleaded guilty in federal court to one count of attempted transfer of a obscene material to a minor. Mm. Tony, being a Leo on your birthday, that's what happened in Florida. Yeah. The other one, I will tell you, because I couldn't find it uh, exactly in their website because it was just this ad-riddled uh, website, but it did say Florida man arrested for fatal stabbing after pulling human ears off. No. Wait. A stabbing and Yes, so you're slicing and it says Florida man arrested for fatal stabbing after pulling human ears off. What is wrong with you Floridians? I don't even know. Uh, Read that sentence again. Florida Florida man arrested for fatal stabbing after pulling human ears. Oh, Uh, so maybe he didn't slice the ears. Maybe he just did like the thing like your mom would do and she's like, get your ass. Yeah, maybe so. (laughs) Man. Yeah. Yeah. Tony, that was yours. Okay, Sarah, Sarah Williams. Uh, yeah. She is a uh, she's a twin, and she's at also a Capricorn. Shout out to all our twins and our Capricorns. And her birthday is January tenth, so one ten. All right, all right. Here's what happened in Florida on your birthday. Let me go to the website. Hopefully, this one will work out better. Yes, Florida man arrested for throwing pizza at father after finding out his dad helped birth him. Burp birth uh, what the hell <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute dude let me read that florida man arrested for throwing pizza at father after finding out his dad you brought me into this world take this pepperoni pizza. i did not want to be here i did not <laughs> jesus uh, florida man was arrested on thursday after he threw a pizza at his father because he was mad that his dad helped, helped birth, birth him, him. Yes. I'm going to give y'all some inside backstory here. Mm-hmm. Smokey's name, when we used to record, his name, no no one in, in our clique back in the day or around here, no one calls him Smokey. Mm. You know what we call him? We call him Bus. Oh, yeah. That was my original nickname. Yeah. Would you like to tell him why you're Bus? Oh, because I was born in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. So if you found out the person that pulled you out on the ambulance, you throwing a pizza at him? Probably so, yeah. Yeah. Dude. What? No, I'm not going to. I was going to say, why would you do such a thing, dude? (laughs) Maybe an apple. I don't know. Okay. uh, The next one we got is from Don Jackson 552. I'll read your comment as well. He says, your podcasts are the highlight of my week. I love that y'all keep it real and aren't phonies that claim to like every video they react to. Facts. Salute. Thank you. He said, my fight record is (laughs) 1-0. Retired, undefeated. <laughs> That's a good time to do it. That's a great time. The one wasn't worth it anyway. And his birthday is February 19th. Let's see All what right. your what the Florida is February 19th for Don Jackson. All right. Here's what happened in Florida on your birthday. A Florida man said he was high and happy during DUI traffic stop. A 50 year old, 51 year old Florida man told authorities he was high and happy after he was stopped for recklessly driving Wednesday morning, according to the Monroe County Sheriff's Office. Oh, uh, sir, I'm gonna need you to get out the car. You've been, you sound, you smell like alcohol. No, I'm good. <laughs> no, he's high and happy as hell. <laughs> yeah. And the, we, we made, we have a song called High and Headed for Hell. Yeah. He was high and happy, happy as, as hell. hell. <laughs> That's freaking awesome, dude. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man, that's you, Don Jackson. Listen, yeah. y'all, we love this, man. Yeah. You going to read another one? Oh, we could. Okay. Yeah, um, let's read the second one. Florida man arrested for allegedly turning his imp- apartment into indoor shooting range. 
What? In an apartment. <laughs> what? Florida man was arrested Sunday after allegedly trying to turn his Cape Coral apartment into an indoor shooting range. And February 19th, Don mm-hmm. Jackson's birthday. Yes, it was. Listen to me, dude. Listen. To our Floridians out there, I, what is it in the water down there? <laughs> We've asked this question several times. What do you think? It, it has to just... We can't say a melting pot because New York is a melting pot. That's Atlanta's true. a melting pot. It is now, yeah. Uh, I mean, but the stories are getting crazy, so... Not like Florida. Bro, Florida's... Cr- I feel like we could go through every birth again, guys. Leave your birthday in the in the comments, and we're get, we're gonna get to the ones in in the previous. I need podcast. to watch that Florida Man documentary and see if they go into why? some sort of explanation as to why. I'll tell you one thing. If I, I don't know if you've heard this, but a lot of people say because we we from Atlanta, we we mm-hmm. really from the South. I was born in South Carolina. That's the South, mm-hmm. and we consider the South and throw a state in the South. We consider. South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Texas, Tennessee, um, Georgia, Mississippi, Mississippi Louisiana, Alabama. Yeah. That's, Texas. You say Texas? I said Texas. Okay. That's the, Some people consider uh, that's not Arkansas, the Kentucky. That's Midwest. Yeah, it kind of is. But. I mean, we salute y'all, but yeah. the thing is, is a lot of people who were really born and raised in the South, they don't put Florida in the South, even though it's the most southern state. Yeah, they yeah. say Florida. It's, it's a country unto itself. Florida was a part of New York. <laughs> it floated <laughs> it down. It just floated there. down. <laughs> I don't know how it happened, but somehow it did, man. Yeah. Man, this was a, this was a good one here. This is an interesting mm-hmm. podcast. Guys, let us know. Do you prefer Michael? Do you yeah. prefer Prince? Yeah. Do you think they would have made the greatest song if they actually did collaborate yeah, exactly. together? That's that's what we would like to know. And also, guys, leave a comment. The most liked com- not, uh, the top three most liked comments get read on the podcast. Again, leave your birthdays down in the comment section. We'll read your WTF, which is not what the – but is – What the Florida. What the Florida, 100%. Schmo, dog, this was a great – you got anything else? No, that's it for this week. That's it for this week, guys. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us on this episode of the Trash Talkers Podcast. And with that being said, my name is Behringer Hollywood 6. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez. Come on. Here we are. Over. I am. Out. Deuces. Yeah. Have we left up our birthday on Florida? I think, yeah, that was the first one we did. <laughs>